Hi, and welcome back to Entrepreneur Stories. Today, I'm sitting here with Afonso. Um, however, the interview today will be a slightly bit different, for this is actually my last interview. Um, and this is not just a simple interviewee. <laughs> it is actually my new colleague, Afonso. Afonso, welcome to the Bundle team. Thank you very much. It's an absolute pleasure to be here. It's great being sitting next to you and after I've seen all those interviews. So, what do I have to learn? Afonso, I don't think you have to learn anything. I think you just have to apply your passion, your interest in entrepreneurship towards the show, towards the people you have around you, and then just shoot whatever questions you have. Wow. Well, no pressure at all. Um, for those of you watching, I'm taking the show over from Andreas. Big legacy. Um, we'll get into the details of what's happening there, but right now, I got to tell you who I am. Exactly. My name is Alfonso, and a lot of people don't know how to pronounce my name. Don't worry. If it goes wrong, just call me Fonz. Hey. <laughs> that actually worked out well. Um, I'm, um, I'm actually Portuguese, but I've lived in eight countries, and I've just moved to Belgium. I'm uh, working at Bundle, working here in Antwerp. I am a venture builder. I'm also working in business development and celebrating the great entrepreneur stories. You have a lot of corporate experience as well. I do. Uh, 16 years, to be exact, of corporate experience. Um, I think it'll help me, you know. Um, a lot of what I will draw upon and a lot of the pain points I felt in the corporate world for 16 years, first in design to design and branding, to branding and marketing, to marketing and business, to business and consultancy, to big tech companies, I felt the initiatives were there. I fought for initiatives of entrepreneurship but I didn't always pursue it, or I probably didn't even understand it. Later, I started getting involved with startups, so I think I'll be drawing upon these insights, my experience, my network of people, yep. to be able not only to validate projects I might be working on, but to celebrate the great entrepreneur stories and people who are doing what you've so celebrated here and been able to extract insights from. With that in mind, I have a question for you. Five episodes, um, great interviews, high caliber. What would you say pops to mind as one of the great nuggets of knowledge that you take away from one of those interviews? Firstly, I'm going to say way to take the lead. You're already starting out asking questions like a pro. <laughs> so that's a good start. Um, looking back at uh, the five episodes that, uh, that, that I conducted, uh, the interviews, um, I must say that the, the key takeaway that I, that I gained or the, the most uh, inspirational insight that I've gotten um, was actually the, the incentivization of entrepreneurs. Um, I think this was the conversation we had with Christopher Waldner, um, whom I asked, um, what, what does it take to, to incentivize an entrepreneur in your opinion? And he said nothing. He said that entrepreneurs must have the urge like entrepreneurs to develop something, to, to create something. That is their goal, their purpose. They don't want to be paid in, in, in shares or, or anything. And maybe that's on the longer term, but in the beginning, it's solely the passion of creating. And that is a beautiful insight that I've gained, or at least I'm gonna apprehend in my future career, and whatever comes to, uh, on my path. And you know, that, that's amazing you said that because I was reading about the author of the book, the entrepreneur Gib Bullock, and um, he actually says, be the change you want to be in your corporation. So with that in mind, you're moving on. What are you going to fill your time with? What is the change that you're going to go through? Well, it's a beautiful quote, huh? be the change uh, you want to see in the corporation. And currently I'm actually looking for myself and huh? what is the change that I want to make in my own life and huh? to become a better me, a better version, uh, Andreas 2.0. So um, to that extent, I'm currently looking into many different things, uh, considering entrepreneurship, considering uh, corporate life and huh? probably entrepreneurship in that, uh, to that extent. But um, I'm keeping a wide scope, trying to find the values in life that I want to chase. Um, I want to see what, what talents really trigger me, what gives me energy in, in the world. Um, I know I have a big passion for sustainability, so who knows what that might uh, translate to. And then, of course, international aspect. Uh, I love 
seeing uh, different cultures, working with different personalities. Huh? It was great to see you coming in. So I love the diversity coming out <laughs> in bundle. So those are probably uh, certain things that I'm, I'm going to be pursuing. Uh, where it leads to, I don't know yet. Of course, you'll connect the dots. And to be honest, I never knew that this is my eighth country that I live in um, for long term. I'm actually engaged to a Belgian woman. <laughs> Uh, but That's how it goes. <laughs> I'm sure that you will connect the dots. And I actually want to thank you and thank you leaving us like in a Formula One race. I'm in pole position already with your interviews. And how can I now do 73 laps? I think you already just went, man. You, you, I think you forgot the car even. <laughs> <laughs> but just right. for the sake of it, I will pass you the key. This is Pretty amazing. To the entrepreneur stories. This is pretty amazing, and I'll tell you why. I didn't know who to ask for one of these, so <laughs> thank you for giving it to me. I'll try to get you one, or more importantly, try to get you on the show. Let's see where you go. If ever so, definitely make sure to polish it every night, treasure it. You can even whisper to it in, <laughs> in desperate this times. I'm gonna have trouble at home already. Um, but this is the official Passing on of the logo of the show. I would say good luck to you. Good luck to you too, Andres. Thank you so much for all your efforts. Will you do the honors? I will. Well, thank you for watching. This is a very short but semi-emotional show, I'd say, where we are actually passing over the baton of this show to me, Entrepreneur Stories. Now it's my responsibility to keep it going, to adding fuel to that fire, which are the insights, the tips, the tricks that we can all learn from accomplished entrepreneurs. People who have risen, who have left those projects, but people who have a lot to give us and what we can build as new ventures, as great projects, new businesses for your businesses. With that in mind, we already have one interview lined up for me to conduct very recently that'll be out in a week's time. That is with Isabel Val. She is a senior business development manager at Syngenta. And my question is, in a 30,000 people corporation, how did you do it? How was that stakeholder management for you? So hopefully we'll be able to extract that knowledge from her and keep you entertained. So please subscribe. We are in podcast form. If you just want to listen to us, if you like looking at us, please subscribe to the Bundle Tube channel. And if you know entrepreneurs out there, please reach out, leave it in the comments section. We will definitely get in touch with them because I'd love to get to know what can we learn from them and from you to the audience. So thank you for staying tuned. Thank you. See you next time. <laughs>